boy, do I have a surprise for you. So a really good friend of mine, Neil, has offered to do a small series of lessons to teach you guys how to be better lead guitarists. This guy's awesome. He's been teaching guitar for 20 plus years. Um, he's played forever. He's played with bands on tons of shows. Uh, he also was a graduate from the Berklee School of Music. And he has his own channel, The Pentatonic Way, which I'll put a link down there in the description. You guys must check out his channel. He can pretty much teach anyone how to improvise and how to be a lead guitarist, how to put together amazing solos with just the use of the pentatonic scale. One of the coolest things too that Neil does is he has live videos all the time. So you pretty much have a very highly skilled lead guitarist and guitar teacher at your expense to ask him questions. He teaches lessons throughout the week. It's awesome. Check out his channel the pentatonic way on YouTube. I think you guys are really gonna dig this. Thanks for doing this, Neil, and take it away. Hey, how's it going? It's Neil from the pentatonic way, and I'm so excited to be partnering with Justin to bring you this series of videos talking about the pentatonic scale and how to use them. In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick way to kind of help you memorize the five shapes using a pattern that's built into the shapes themselves. So let's check it out. All right, cool. So because of the way the pentatonic scale is laid out, you end up with large shapes like this, which are minor thirds, and you end up with short shapes or small shapes like this, which are major seconds. So you get, like in the first shape we use, we got a long shape, short shape, short, short, long, long. All right, so you can see in the graphic here that it's a pattern of five. So you get two long and three short, right? But we have six strings on the guitar. So that's what leads to the different shapes and different configurations of notes in the five shapes of the pentatonic scale. So if I take this and slide it over, I'll go to the first shape. We can see how it's applied to the first shape. You have one long, three short, and after three short, you're always going to have two long. So that's what we end up with, right? So if we move this back this way, we can see for shape four, we have two longs and then the three shorts. But because of the way the B string is on the guitar, you end up having to shift that short forward, right? But you can see that there are three. And then after three short intervals, we end up with a long interval. An interval is really just a fancy way to say the distance between two notes. You know, like this would be a minor second, major second, minor third. So that's what we're talking about by intervals. But we can just say short and long for the purpose of this demonstration. All right. Now we'll move it over. We had the first shape. Now we have the third shape, which starts with three short intervals or shapes and then the two long ones. But again, because of the, the situation with the B string on the guitar, we have to move that, sh uh, that shape up. We gotta shift it up. And then after the two long ones, we get a short interval again, short shape, right? Now let's move ahead. We have the fifth shape of the pentatonics. Starts with two short intervals, two short shapes, and goes directly into the long shape. So then you get two of those, and then two more short shapes, which is a very symmetrical pattern, which I like a lot. <laughs> Easy to remember that one. Then if we move to the last one, we have this second shape, which starts with the one of those short shapes, short intervals. Then you get the two long ones here, and then three short ones. And because of the situation with the B, we shift those up one fret, all right? So that comes in handy when you're trying to remember these. Like if you can remember the first three notes, then you'll know like what the next will be, the next three notes, right? So if you know the first three notes are long, short, short, we only have two shorts, so we know the next one's gonna be a long, and that's three shorts. Oh, sorry, next one's gonna be a short. So that's three shorts, and then, we have the two longs, right? 
Now if we look at shape two, it starts with the short and then two longs. So as long as you remember that, you're going to know that the next ones are all going to be short. But you wouldn't just go right across. You know because of the, the B string, you have to move up. So you got three short, two long, and one short. All right? Might as well go through them all. We have the third shape, which starts with the three shorts. And then the two longs that shift up. And because after the two longs, we always have a short, there's your short one. And fourth shape, we're gonna start here. And that one starts with the two longs. So right off the bat, you know that the next three are gonna be short and shift up on that B string. And that's three short, so you know the next one's gonna be long. Right, and last but not least, we have the very easy to remember fifth shape, which is gonna start with two short ones, two short intervals, then two long intervals, and then again, two short intervals. So yeah, hopefully that helps you, helps you memorize them a little bit. Really, you only have to memorize the first three notes of each one, and the other notes are going to be implied. You know what I mean? So let me know if you have any questions. Reach out to me or Justin, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.